I gotta, I gotta go see my granny. I maybe have to go back to my friend. Hello, I made it. Carto, hi. I'm so glad you're back. I could really use your help. I'm just, I'm feeling a little homesick. I thought I'd feel better if I could read about my island. Maybe even find a way to sail back. But I can't find any books about it. The story tender said he'd help me, but I think he forgot. I didn't forget, you whippersnapper. I've just been busy cleaning up, up, cleaning up downstairs. Someone made a proper mess while rifling through our collection. I'm sure she didn't mean it, whoever it was. She was just eager and inconsiderate. Well, if you girls can get down things squared away downstairs, I'll have some time to help. I can look through our files and let you know what I find. Of course we can do that. Uh, we can do that, right? No, no we can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, I gave a thumbs up. I am doing it. Okay, we're in. Just show us what to do. You know, this all sounds so similar to the book I'm reading right now. Ah, no matter. Follow me downstairs. No. No, no. I wanted to read the book. No. I got most of the books put away, but these boxes need to be moved. Can you transfer them? Transfer them from the left mat to the right mat. Just make sure to keep the small boxes on top of the bigger boxes so that nothing gets crushed. I'll be at the front counter looking through our files. Just let me know when you're done. Okay. Oh my god, look at my little arms. They're struggling. I did it. I did it. The little cartographer returned from the volcano only slightly stinged. She needed to meet her granny on an iceberg and no idea how to get there. But first, her good friend needed her help. I did it. Finished already? Let me have a look. Finished? Fine box work, that. The next batch is ready for you. It's a shade trickier. Thanks. Eugh, flippin' what? Can I just put these anywhere? No. Okay. And then put that one there, put that one there, put that one there, put that one there, put this one here, put that one there, put that one there. That one there. Oh! My lordy lord, I'm good at this. Hey, I did it again. Another batch done? Let me see. Impressive. I just need your help on one... Oh, no. I'm also done with searching for your sailing book. Oh, okay. You're moving me across rooms now, yeah? Uh, bruh. How the fart? How the fart am I meant to do this, huh? Huh? You having me on? You having me on, right? Can I put it over here on these things? You can't even reach the top. Where do you even start? I don't know. Uh. Yo, help me out, bro. I don't, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> You need a stairs that leads to a door, right? So you have to have a door on one side and then stairs leading up to the next door. And you can't turn these. We have to go from here and put it here. So we've got to get it from the mountains 
to the frosty place. Just swap the type. Are you having me on? Are you ha are you having me on? Mikey. You were right. Why? Why was I overthinking that? Jeez, that was... That... <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. I did it. What? Oh. Did I do it? Oh, I did it, I think. Hello? Where do you go? Nice work. Things are looking tidy indeed. You girls are a godsend. I found the sailing book your friend was looking for. It's in the island wing. I think she's already there. How? Why would it... <laughs> Why would it go from that? To, like, moving things from this to this to this. To just move two rooms around. Shaking my head. There's so much about the culture of my island here. And some of our traditions happen to be on other islands too. I always thought it was just us. Shortly after her best friend, the little photographer, left the story chalet, the blue-haired girl's mind started to drift. She imagined her people back on her island laughing and fishing and she missed them greatly. She made up her mind to return home and visit them, and set off to sail. However, she was quickly thwarted by heavy ocean fog and her compass stopped working. She tried several times in vain before giving up on the island, sailing back to the story chalet. Though she wasn't the type to give up so easily. The blue-haired girl decided that she would look through every book in the chalet until she found a way to navigate home. She headed downstairs and started rifling through books. Spending their days living within and full of soil, most earthworms are exper experts on the matter. It is said that if you give soil to a worm, they can point towards its source. Though not all worms are created equal, and some are more accurate than others. Many have been led astray by an overeager yet unskilled worm. But for those looking for a little help finding their way home, the right worm can be the, uh, an invaluable companion. I've got a worm. Look at this. There's a way to navigate the ocean using soil from your destination. I'm glad we grabbed some of, the, some of this before we left. Now we just need to worm to sniff it out. I have worm. Wait, you had a worm on you this whole time? Gross, but also, yay! We have everything we need. I think it's time to sail back. I know I'm not supposed to, but I just need to see everyone, even from afar. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kato. I was so wrapped up in my own feelings I didn't even think to ask about yours. Did you find anything about your granny? How was the volcano? Oh, a letter from your granny. May I read it? I'm so glad she's safe, and she wants to meet you at an iceberg. Hmm. My people have spoken of such a place near the edge of the world. I don't know how to get there, but perhaps they do. We're all ready to head back to the island, so we can find out more there. You can ask around, and I'll do some snooping. What do you say, Kato? Will you come back to the island with me? Of course I will, my best friend. Great, let's get back to the boat. I did a lot of reading while you were gone, and it was great. But it turns out the theatre of the mind can't beat the spray of salt water on your face. I'm excited to get back out there. We're going to die on the way back, aren't we? There's a reason why people of a certain tribe can never return home after they sail for their coming of age. It used to be that someone who left would try to sail home, only to be thwarted by the ocean or bad weather. Their families would never know the truth of what happened, or assume they didn't want to visit. Oh. So literally, everyone came home, but they died on the way. Never leave. Never leave. By following this new tradition, parents can better prepare for the pain of never seeing their children again. Blooming hell. It will never be easy, but they'll know what to expect. A tough but needed tradition. See ya. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye-bye. 
I know that look in your eye. You girls are headed off to adventure. Well, don't forget to stop by the chalet whenever you're in the neighbourhood. We're always good for a new story. What's this though? Not only is Iceberg Dwelling a demanding lifestyle choice, but an entirely unpredictable one. Running into a friend might be the last time you see them for a while if the icebergs don't drift together again. Residents install supply boxes of essential tools and food on every iceberg in case everyone, anyone were to get stranded. Fair. The legend of the seventh iceberg has passed down to generations. What was once an ancient document lives on only in story recounted by the archaeologist Luca L Luak. Luak? To whomever will listen. The story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of all the people living on the edge of the world. Legend though it might be, Luke Luak has decided his existence to finding the treasure, never giving up hope. Well, we're gonna find him, aren't we? We're gonna find him. The little cartographer and her friend were set to sail. They'd returned to the island where they began, with the help of a wriggly companion. And some, somewhere far beyond, Granny's iceberg loomed large. Come on, Granny, Granny, Granny. We'll find her. Let's go, lass. She's on his boat, ready for adventure. Let's go. You take the soil, I'll take the sail. And we'll keep a close eye on your worm, buddy. Thank you. Shannon and Carto back on the high seas. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's good to be sailing again. My Shannon's bag. Now, which way do we go? Hmm. You want to think about it? Take a time. He's going that way, so that's south east, right? Southeast. Can do, Captain Carto. Getting kind of foggy. North, look at it. Mm, north, okay. Thank you, Wham. Go north. Oh my god, we made it already. We made it. That's my island, alright. Oh, who's that out there? You girls look familiar. We're just mermaids, sir. You've never seen us before. Oh, that makes sense. Carry on then. <laughs> okay. Phew, that was close. Okay, now we just need to get past the reef. Any tips? Turn around, we're headed towards a dead end. Let's split up. Uh, Split up. The worm just split itself in half. That doesn't feel right, but I'll give it a shot. Hmm, we may have to pay closer attention to that worm. Let's try that again. That's what he said. Oh, 11 o'clock. Can do. We're in the lake. Okay, now. This is just ridiculous. Question mark. Something to do with a hook? That doesn't feel right, but I'll give it a shot. Hmm, we may have to pay closer attention to the worm. Let's try that again. We sail towards 7 o'clock, but it doesn't look like a 7. Sail clockwise and then go straight. That is wrong. Something to do with a hook. That is wrong. So it's either all of the above or sail towards 7 o'clock. I'm not sure which. Because I've tried everything else and it's wrong. It's not seven. 
Okay, so all the above. Sail towards seven o'clock, then turn clockwise. Go straight and through the hook. Well, it's worth a try. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. We made it. I'm not sure how that worked, but we made it. Great job, everyone. I can't believe we're really back here. You and your squirmy friend are quite the team. Carto and... Earthworm Wriggles. Carto and Wriggles. Okay, let's split up and look for clues to the iceberg. We can meet back here when we have some info. I'm going to stay out of sight since I'm not supposed to be back here. I know it's just a tradition, but it's important to my family. See you back in here in a bit. See you later, nerd. Right, ah. I don't know why I left these places in such a bloody state. <laughs> but I did. So, you know. But I gotta, I gotta find my granny. Hello, it's me. Ahem. Hey, kid, you're back. Is Shannon with you? Of course she isn't, dear. You know the tradition. Ah, yes, of course. Well, please give her a huge Blair hug if you see her. We miss her dearly. Have you travelled back here for the fishing festival? It only happens a few times a month. And we have a competition here. We have a competition here. I'm happy to loan you a rod and a bobber in case the mood strikes you. Hello. Thank you again for accompanying Shannon. It was so kind of you. I hope she's doing well and she feels our love for her, even from afar. We think about her all the time. Did you girls say the whole archipelago? She's a born adventurer. I knew she'd take it. She'd take to it once she got used to it. She just had to get out of her comfort zone. Come fish with us. Do what I want, bruv. Oh, sugar. Do what I want, bruv. And that is not fishing. I want to find my granny. Hey, sweetie. It's nice to see you again. I was just wondering if we would have any visitors competing this month. My little lady here is growing up so quickly. I'm sure she'll be slinging fish like her father before I know it. Ahoy, little one. I hope your travels have treated you well. Yet again, your timing is fortunate for our fishing festival is upon us. I call it a fish festival, but don't tell my wife. <laughs> Anyways, the fish festival will be held nearby at the big fish lock. We'll have a fishing competition and outsiders are always welcome. They won't let me enter since I'm a fisherman by trade. But that means I get to be the host. What an honour. Go, kid. Wagga, 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 wagga. That sandpiper won't stay still. I just want to show it this cool stick. Nah, man. You want to whack that bitch with that stick. I know you. You just want to whack. You want to whack. Hello. Hmm. Oh, hello again. I trust your travels have been fruitful. Have you encountered our dearest son, perchance? Ah, uh, I suppose chances were slim. Besides, last we heard from him, he was headed to the end of the world. <gasps> but that was many years ago. I hope he brought something warm to wear. Oh, do you like the cold weather? I'm told it builds character. I think she'd like to visit their love. I recognize the twinkle in her eye. Our son had it too, the look for adventure. Well, a good map of the ocean might lead you there. And it so happens that I donated one as a prize in the- Oh no, we have to win. We have to win the fishing festival. You just have to find all of the lost fish and lead them home to your net. I feel like you'll be good at that for some reason. Best of luck at the fishing festival. I'll be rooting for you to win that ocean map. Rude. Give me that map right now. Have we met before? You look very familiar. You remind me of a mermaid I saw recently. Except I had a sailboat for a tail and two heads. Very strange. Lol. Give me this. Give me. Okay, so I need to go back to Shiannon. 
Look at me go! I go fast! Burr, 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 Hey! Aw, oh, was that from my dad? I really miss everyone, but I'm glad I got to see them from afar at least. Okay, so... To find your granny, we need to get to the iceberg. To find the iceberg, we need an ocean map. And to get an ocean map, we need to win the competition at the fishing festival. Right? Yeah. Great! Well, we know the plan, let's get fishing! The festival takes place in the big fish lock nearby. It's our biggest lock, uh, lake. You can probably guess what it's shaped like. Hmm, I still don't want anyone to recognise me though. Oh, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi Kaito, I'm Rhiannon. Hee <laughs> hee. There's no way they'll recognise me now. I'm ready to go. 